What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Pierce Dillon and today we are doing a little head-to-head -head comparison. We're seeing how the iPhone 11 Pro stacks up against one of the big boys in the market, AKA the Canon 5D. Now what I've done is take the same photo using the cameras on each device and I've got special guest Philly Bolton here to tell me which one was taken on which device. Now just a little side note, it has been 44 degrees here in <laughs> Perth, Western Australia. And I can't have the aircon on too high because that's all you'll be able to hear when you do that. So if you see us start to sweat, then <laughs> it's still extremely, extremely hot here at about 7.30 at night. So. Very, <laughs> good 35. I've done one of these videos before using the Canon 80D against the iPhone XS Max, which at the time were a very similar price. But this time we're stepping it up a bit and like I said, pitting the iPhone 11 Pro mm -hmm. against a much more expensive kit aka the 5D, and just seeing how it stacks up to see if it is still possible to take a similar photo or to see if you can tell the difference between I'm a the fan. two photos. I'm a so fan. You are. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I take my phone, I, I don't own a DSLR. I'll take Phil, my phone with me everywhere. It's waterproof. That's it. Does Phil, the job. And... Phil's in, in no way a professional photographer. He's got an eye for yeah. composition. That's one thing that I've always uh, said to him. So he's not going to be able to instantly look at the photos and go, that one was taken on that one, that one was yeah. taken on that one. Yeah. Maybe he will, hopefully he won't. Hopefully I can trick him a little bit. Mm, there's a few things I know to look for. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see what happens. And so getting into the specs quickly, we have the iPhone 11 Pro armed firstly with a 13 millimeter F2.4 using a 12 megapixel sensor. And then to challenge this, I've used a 14 millimeter F2.8 on the 5D, which uses a 22.3 megapixel sensor. So it's a lot of words that you probably don't understand what I'm saying right there. Yeah. For me, the iPhone does the job. Does the job. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the wide angle lens, the iPhone 11 Pro uses a 26 millimeter F1.8. And then to rival this, I've used the 24 to 105 millimeter F4 Canon lens, which was also used as the telephoto lens at a focal length of 52 millimeters to combat the iPhone 11 Pro's telephoto lens, which is also a 52 millimeter F4. F2, I almost said F2 point sunny, but it's an F2. Could be an F3 and I won't know the difference. <laughs> 52, mill 52 millimeter F2. Specs out the way, I've tried to use a variety of different types of photography to try and accommodate for everyone. Okay. You know, you've yeah. got all these people that, some of them do urban photography, some of them are into their food photography, some of them like their landscape photography, some like okay. portraits. Hmm. I could go on and Animals on and on. And Wildlife photography. We've got some wildlife outside right now. <laughs> mozzies. <laughs> I was thinking of the dogs, but right. <laughs> we've got mozzies as well. Hot as hell in here. Oh, yes. <laughs> so moving on to the first photo, let's start with some ultra wide goodness, a little ultra wide face off between the two. Obviously the iPhone 11 Pro now has the ultra wide camera. I so see. we're pitting the two ultra wides off. I, I feel like I've said ultra wide a lot. Right ultra now. wide. Anyways, getting into it, here we go. First photo. So as you can see, we have a, a picture here of the- it's Beautiful. Perth Bell Tower, it's probably Perth one of Bell Tower. Perth's only monuments. One yeah. of the only monuments that we've got here. Mm, I think it was donated by the Queen. Was it really? Yeah, I don't know what yeah. year, but... I feel like you might be lying. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> What's your initial thoughts? Initially, I think I know already. Yep. I'm gonna go with... Go for the it. The first photo is the Canon. The Canon 5D? Yeah, per unless I've totally... Unless Apple are just really sharpening up the photos, it just looks really sharp. Yep. Um, and the second one I'd say is the iPhone. But again, I'm gonna have to go with the first one. You're gonna lock in your I'm initial. gonna lock in, lock it in, please. So Pierce. the first photo is gonna be the Canon lock. 5D. Canon, Canon, Canon? Canon the 5D. Canon 5D. The Canon, I think so. In this case, you are correct. Well done. I think this is gonna be a, a walk in the park. Do you, do you, do you. No worries. Moving on to some portrait photography of I regularly use family, friends, my girlfriend as uh, my puppets in my videos. So we're going to move on to some portrait photography of my girlfriend here. Okay. So this is tougher mm. because they're both sharp mm. to start with because she's close. <laughs> uh, so this is using the telephoto lens, obviously, on the iPhone 11 Pro and then the 24 to 105 at a focal length of 52 millimeters on the Canon 5D. I feel. Yeah, first one's the uh, iPhone, second one's the Canon. Are you sure you want to lock in? Just the clarity in of um, a hair. I feel <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. at certain, there's a certain bit, the other one's a bit more, um, 
muzzy in a sense, I'd say. Is that the right word? Like a bit more, you know. Urban, di urban so dictionary, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> muzzy. <laughs> In this case, you are also correct. So the first photo was the iPhone 11 yeah. Pro. The second photo was the Canon 5D. Fantastic camera. I agree. That, oh, that look, is, to, I'm to get genuinely a photo like that. Yeah. yeah, out of out of the iPhone 11, even when you zoom in here, yeah. the quality yeah. is it's impressive. It's ridiculous for what it is. So it's very impressive. But um, I do feel that yeah, with the the Canon it 5D, just picks it's out just the sharper little it's details. Just that, that depth of field just looks a little bit more natural. Obviously mm. the not obviously because not everyone knows that, but the iPhone 11 Pro inserts the bokeh and the blur. It, uh, the bokeh. You know, depth of field, that's all depth it is. You know, it's what it, what keeps your subject in focus and it'll blur the oh, I the see, yeah, yeah, when you can so. tap and adjust it. Layman's so it does terms. that. Portrait mode, Portrait you know, mode. on okay. your iPhone. So okay. anyways, congrats, two out of two. Two out of two. Right there. Let's move on to some food photography here. We have some nachos on a plate. Beautiful presentation. The Thank you. Thank you, mate. I, I spent quite a bit of time on this one. So Good nachos. It was very good. Trash the house. It was cold by the time I had it. <laughs> very cold. Cool. Like, they're mm. so similar. Yeah. I'd have to say, again, right, uh, the first one's the iPhone, second one's the camera. By just the quality of the plant and the Tommy K in the middle of the tomato ketchup. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I feel that. Look, I'm sorry to tell you that you're wrong. wrong in I am this wrong. Case. <laughs> yeah. So the first one is the... the first one's the Canon. Wow. And the, the second photo is the, the iPhone 11 using the, the wide angle camera. So that was a, a battle of the wide angles right there. Sorry to tell you that you're... Uh, Darn it, what's what? You, you two out of three. All I wanted to do was be able to trick you on at least maybe one, one or two. One. So. You sharpened that picture <laughs> up, didn't you? <laughs> Moving on, we have uh, some... Pictures of yours truly taking some self-timed photos ah, in the alley on my own. Nice. Mind you, this was, uh, <laughs> you know, cars driving past or I'd take a photo and I could see people staring at me and mm -hmm. I'm like, come on, hurry, yeah, take yeah, a photo. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Good pose, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. I spent some time oh, yeah. thinking about this. <laughs> Talk me through your thoughts, mate. I'm, my thoughts, I'm actually looking at the art behind the uh, picture of the <laughs> the thing with like 50 eyes. It's a good art, yeah, the, yeah. The, um, it's, it's a very interesting uh, yeah. mural like, on the wall there. I'd say the... I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put it out there, I want to get it right. Okay, I'm going to go the first one, the iPhone, second one, the Canon. First photo is iPhone, Yeah. second photo is the Canon. Yeah. All right, well, look, uh, in this case, unfortunately, I have to say that you are correct. Ah! <laughs> He's got it. Well done. You're three out of four. Three out of four. Three out of four. Let's go for some, some macro photography, so some close-up using the telephoto again. We're going to move back to the telephoto okay. lens. Okay. Is that um, the one what caught me up? No, no, no. The wide angle was one. Wide angle got me. All right, so moving back into the telephoto. I've got a picture of my bling mm, here. So full. Set up like Cassie. Nice. Cassie. Oh, no. Cassio, <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, ha. Cassio's a good watch, mate. You shouldn't say that about They're him. legit, like, shout out to Cassio, <laughs> like, the, the, what they say. Initial thoughts, the depth on the second one looks like it's been um, adjusted and from what you were saying before, the iPhone actually doing that. Mm. The first photo, regardless what it is, if it's the iPhone, it's crazy, but it's that's the best quality. And, it's very good, isn't it? But yeah, that one's so sharp. I feel that's the Canon and that's the iPhone. All right, well, in this case, you're actually wrong. Oh, wrong. Again. <laughs> wow. Now, just to explain this, look, like I said, you're not, you know, you, you don't know the technicals behind this. I don't. <laughs> no, well, you've done it right no, so don't. far. I don't. <laughs> the only way that you can tell that this photo, look, I've said this in the last video that I did when I compared, you know, a, a DSLR and a phone. Yep. Was with the bokeh and the depth of field, like I said, the iPhone 11, it's inserted into the background. What the DSLRs do a lot cleaner is they wrap around okay. with the bokeh. So as you can see, you've got the foreground here that's blurry, the subject is in focus, and yep. the background is blurry, but it's very smooth. It is. In the, the it Canon is. photo, it whereas is. the iPhone's photo it's... is obviously all sharp, yep. and then obviously the background is blurry. Background so blurry. that's the only way that you can tell. And I was kind of hoping that in this yeah. one I would trick you just to, you got me. Just to see. But you got me. Like, even, even if you it's zoom so right in. that's just like... Personally, what, like, what more do you need? No. Like, <laughs> unless you're doing it professionally yeah. or really feeding your passion with it, that's just... You can get away with it, can't you? Moving on, we've got some, back, we're going back to some ultra-wide, you know, ultra action wide. right here. So Perfect. We have an alleyway. What's going on? There is. So, um, first one, iPhone. Mm -hmm. Second one, Canon. 
Okay. Why are you thinking this? Why? Because I found with my iPhone, when you go near the sun with it, mm -hmm. you get that glare. Yeah. I did personally think at first it was the Canon because you said it was a wide angle lens. It takes more in a sense, but the overall quality of say the, the lights and when you looked further down the alleyway, it's, it's still Sharp. containing the sharpness. Mm -hmm. If it is the if I'm wrong again, then it just shows the quality of mm. the iPhone. But um, I feel yeah, iPhone kind of. <laughs> I hate to say it, mate. Nah, you're, don't you're, even tell me I'm you're wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just start saying give a professional <laughs> like analysis of the photos to be wrong. Yeah, so, well, look, well, don't take any advice. <laughs> basically, what you just said was the opposite for each opposite, one. Switch yeah. it round and so, pretend I'm right. The, so what I'm saying is the <laughs> first one. Is the Canon. Yes, yes. Yes. The around second about, one's right? the iPhone. Yep. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> the sun in the, the Canon 5D, it's such a nice, you know, it looks so oh. nice on the, the Canon, but I find the That's a the nice iPhone, photo. It, but I find that really struggles with the, the sun, you know, the flare. It just doesn't look as authentic. To me, that looks so much better. <laughs> it does. You're on four for six. Four, and, four, four for seven. seven. <laughs> four for seven. Four, four for seven. seven. Four out of seven. That's that's. that's, uh, that's I think you should run this back with someone else. That's questionable, isn't I it? I think you should run this right back. Moving on to the last photo, please. Me in a a lush. That's a cool photo. Little garden. It's a very cool photo. Thank you, mate. Initial thoughts? Initial thoughts. I'm looking at the, the bark range, on the tree. Yeah. I'm looking further out. I'm looking at the the bark on the floor, seeing the different colours, and you wouldn't know. I. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the first one being the Canon and the second one the iPhone. It's just more the depth again, but the iPhone proved me wrong last time. Yeah, so look, I'm sorry again, to say you've got another one wrong. Mate, yeah. sell your Canons. <laughs> this is where it's at. <laughs> the, the iPhone does the job, look. Sell them. Once again, like if you were to closely inspect this photo, uh -huh. you, you probably could tell. Um, like when you zoom, can you tell more? Like Yeah, you can. You know that iPhones. It's insane, man. It's crazy Very to think. Good. You know? But uh, I think it's just the yeah. Look, the the overall quality of the photo to the trained eye. Apart from that, you know, if you were to blow it up on a big screen, you might be able to oh, see okay, it. Yeah, yeah. But without doing that, it's it's very comparable. So we're talking about something that has roughly you know a two to two and a half thousand dollar price tag, aka the iPhone 11 Pro. Which is expensive, isn't it, for Two a phone? Trackers. But it is, you know, for what you get, you get not just the cameras, you but get you, everything. You do, but you get the quality of those cameras as well. But then you're looking at the 5D, which is, you could be looking at maybe three grand for the, the body alone. Wow. Or even, more, yeah, three grand for the body alone. Yeah. And then the, the 14 millimeter uh, ultra wide lens that, you know, yep. I used for this is another three grand just for that one lens. And then you're looking at the 24 to 105 and all of a sudden you're up to and eight, the nine grand. knowledge and time to learn how to use it the correct way. Yeah, exactly. And that's, yeah. again, I've, I've dabbled. Mm. Put me on auto and just let me click. <laughs> like, but again, irregardless of what, what it is, you can get a lot out of it. Mm. Especially with a little bit of knowledge on how to use it mm. correctly. Mm. You know what I mean? So, Phil, you finished on four out of eight, man. It's I was, not, I'm not gonna lie. I thought, uh, do you know what? First few, I was like, I'm gonna just- I thought you were as well. Here, I was like, oh fair. crap, it's just two out, of, two out of two right there. I was well, like, yeah. I think I'm in a bit of trouble. No, it was yeah. um, impressive yeah. for me personally with the, when you were counting the price of it and yeah. the- It's massive. Usability. Um, just the, the fact that it can do everything else mm. as well. It's obviously the iPhone. Yeah, and, and I day. think there's more and more people that are using their smartphones, especially even in paid jobs nowadays. You know, they're getting away with mm -hmm. using them for clients. Mm -hmm. I still will feel a little bit strange rocking up to a job and with pulling out my phone, phone and be like, yep, here we go. Here we are, this off is we all drop. I've got. <laughs> phone and like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, but it's hey, very interesting. I think we should just go back to the, the fact that it's still a million degrees outside. Maybe. Yes, we're cooking. We are cooking. <laughs> it's very hot in this room. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Yes, pleasure. I hope, you, I hope you got something out of that video. If you want me to send you the photos so you can have a closer look at them, mm. then please you know, drop a comment in the uh, comments below. Yeah. Please leave a comment below, let me know, and if you want me to send them to you, happy to do that so yes. you can have a close inspection. And, and just see if I was think. totally out of sync or maybe, you know, the iPhone's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this video today, guys. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, then please like and subscribe. I will really appreciate it. Yes. I'm uh, 
I'm having a good good time with this weekly posting thing. It's really beautiful enjoying it. to I see. I want to keep it up, you know? So anyway, like I said, please like and subscribe and I will see you mm -hmm. in the next video. As always, AKA next week. Peace. Peace.